Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a very special video. Um, this is going to be in two parts. Um, there will be one video for you guys, but I'm going to film both of the things that I have and put it into one video. But I don't have them both right now, I just have one. Uh, so you guys won't be seeing this for a couple days, but I'm filming this just before a very big stream that's going to be happening in a matter of minutes. Uh, you'll see what that will be. Um, but I have a couple things. I'm not going to open this first thing. I just want to... I got strategy guide to go with this. Uh, so I won't be opening this for a while, probably, because I'm going to play through the game back and get everything afterward. But, well, yes, I got the strategy guide for the game, which I obviously have the game as well. I went all out with God of War. I went balls to the wall, just... Got everything I could get my hands on. I got the special edition loot crate coming. I have all the pop figures you can see. Two of them are right there. Those are the two enemies. I still have to collect uh, Kratos and uh, Artreus. I think that's how you pronounce his son's name. Um, a friend of mine picked those up for me, and I just haven't gone to his house to get them. Um, <clears throat> I also have the Stone Mason edition, which I don't actually have in my possession right now. Because... Today's Thursday. Game's not out until tomorrow. So I'll be picking that up tomorrow. But for now, <clears throat> I have this. This is the Leviathan. It's on the corner here. Leviathan Gray 1 terabyte PS4 Pro God of War Edition. I'm excited. Because... <laughs> I don't want to have a PS4 Pro. Uh, actually, right now it's blocking it, but you can still... I, it's, it's black, so you can't really see it. But my PS4 is, like, right here. It's just a original launch PS4, just bare-bones launch PS4. Nothing special. I'm actually kind of surprised it's still working, because at this point in the PS3's life cycle, I had had three of the fucking things. Um, I need my scissors right here. I don't have much room, so this is going to be quite cumbersome. Uh, but... We're gonna we're gonna get this thing open because I'm gonna set this up before I stream the game tonight. I'm excited. All right, so as per usual with Sony consoles, we have a box and a box. Let's see if we can get this out without destroying the nice fancy God of War box. Okay, there we go. Now put this aside. And you guys can't see me right now, can you? Yeah, I guess you can. Let's not move my keyboard, because I do not have any room. This is cumbersome. Let's get this open. I'm excited to have a pro. Because like, I'm buying a 4K TV as well. And this is this is just the start. It's nice to have a job that pays me. You know, Logan Paul saw fit to end my relationship with YouTube in that capacity. So you got your typical manual stuff. Nobody fucking reads this shit. Um, let's pull this out. What is this? Just insert here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This has a... So, if you if you aren't familiar with PlayStation, every, P, every PlayStation console had the same power cable from the PS1 all the way through to the PS4. It wasn't until the PS4 Pro started using this fucking thing. Some of the PS4 slim, or PS2 Slims use a different one, but every single power cable other than this and that PS2 Slim are uh, swappable between consoles. But you got your power cable. You have your... What is this? What's other stuff here. Charging cable for the controller. Got like 12 of those. Don't need it. Um, stuff in here. Oh, that's that's the thing I want. That's that's the one. Let's just put this down for now. HDMI cable. I assume this is a 4K capable HDMI cable. I don't know if the one that I have plugged into my PS4 currently is, so I'm gonna have to swap that out. Um, mono headset is useful. Um, and this is something that I'm excited about. A little disappointed. Because over in the UK, they're selling this separately from the console. But here in the US, only way to get this controller is with this bundle. But there's your 
God of War special edition controller as well, which is gorgeous. And you can just see it up here in the corner right there. I have actually preemptively bought a stand specifically for this controller. Because <laughs> if you aren't aware, these joysticks, while I love the feel of them when they're brand new, they wear down super quick. That's why you can see that that one has blue joysticks, and I'm all backwards here, I apologize. That one has blue joysticks, this one has pink joysticks, and they're made of aluminum so that they don't wear down. But I don't plan on replacing the joysticks on this one because I don't want to fuck it up. Um, but once I, I'm going to play the game with this controller... And I'm probably never going to touch it again. It's going on that shelf. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. All this stuff out of the way. Now, there should be a game in here as well. There it is. On top of the console. Just loose in the box. There's this best place to play. Um, do you have any codes? What is this? Save 20% on the latest games, movies, redemption. Doesn't say what this code is for. Just a discount code, I guess. I don't know. I think this comes with like a free trial of PlayStation Plus or something. I'm I'm not sure, but you get your game, and that's just basic physical copy of the game. And I I, I honestly think that this Pro Bundle is super worth it because one, it's a physical copy. Who doesn't want physical shit these days? And if if you say you don't, you're wrong. Go away. <clears throat> Uh, but a normal PS4 Pro with nothing, just the console, is $399. This one, with the game, and the gorgeous controller and the gorgeous console, $399. It's a no-brainer. If you're buying a PS4 Pro, there you go. Now, I happen to get lucky and be in the market for one at the time this was announced. So, But here we go, meat and potatoes right here in there sideways and upside down a little bit. I'm going to put this on the ground, actually. Because this is... Oh, God, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. Let's uh, this bad boy open here. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. I'm happy that I was capable of getting this. I would have been very disappointed if I hadn't, because special edition consoles are huge. Like the, uh, oh, that's so pretty. Um, the Monster Hunter Special Edition PS4 goes for like a grand. I don't know if that was a pro or not. Uh, this one, I've seen Japanese imports of this console going for a grand on like Amazon already as well. So there's, there's quite a bit of draw to that. But this is. The God of War PS4 Pro. Look at that thing. I love the color. It looks so much like an original PlayStation as well. So I'm I'm, I'm very happy with that. Uh, like you get on the back, your feet for the console are the PlayStation buttons, which is a nice touch. You got the front here, which has runes on it from the game. Uh, from what I've understood of the game, I haven't watched much of it at all. This is your skill tree in the game. This is like all your skills that you upgrade as you progress through the game. Um, this over here is something in the game as well. I'm not sure exactly what. And these on the front are also something that is very important to the game. But I'm quite happy with this. Um, now you got your typical stuff on the back. Um, looks like you got your port for the PlayStation camera, as well as the HDMI port, USB port, um, Ethernet, your massive power port for the new cable that comes with the Pro, and uh, optical audio out. Nothing fancy there. This is where the hard drive is on the Pro. Now, I have upgraded the hard drive on my original console uh, to a 2 terabyte. This is a 1 terabyte model, which is more room than I think I'm going to need, because... I've never come close to filling up that two terabyte hard drive on my original. But yeah, I'm going to get this set up. We're going to start streaming immediately. Um, but right now, or as soon as I'm done talking, the video is going to cut to tomorrow for me. 
and I mean, you guys can wait until tomorrow for you as well. I, I'm not going to stop you. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to open the Stone Mason edition of God of War, which comes with a fancy steelbook case, which I love, and a giant statue of Kratos and Artreus, and some other nice little things. So I'll see you guys in a second, or tomorrow if you're weird. Hey, welcome to the future. Uh, this is the stonemason edition of God of War. I said I went all out. I went all out, okay? Um, don't judge me. Pay my bills. I can spend the rest of my money the way I want to. Let's get this open. <clears throat> so, we streamed this game, uh, last night, previously. Oh, wow, this is another box in a box? Sony, what are you doing here? Um, we streamed this game last night after I opened the console. So, for me, it's been about 12 hours or so since that stream ended-ish. Um, I plan on streaming again after I get done recording this. If I can get this thing open, it's proving to be more difficult than it needs to be. So this box looks like it's gorgeous. Can I say that? But a box? All right. There we go. Oh, yes. Tell me that's not awesome. That is just amazing. Okay, so now we gotta open this one. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what any of that says. I need I need a son to read runes for me. Oh, the, oh the, the detail. Okay. Ooh, steelbook. That I believe that is uh, what's his name? Brock's symbol. I think that is it. I'm not sure. Oh. That's a different disc. I'm actually quite ha quite happy with that. Came with a different disc than the uh, regular game. I can't show you the other disc because it's still in my PlayStation. <laughs> Maybe I will. I don't know. Um, comes with a bunch of uh, DLC. I'm going to keep this code because I want it. It comes with a bunch of digital stuff as well. Hide that so you guys can't see it. I'm going to put this somewhere where it can't be seen. Now, this... I actually can't tell. It looks like it is, but it looks slightly different as well. Uh, this looks like the... Basically, right where we left off, you can see my camera and the reflection there. I'm trying to make this to where it's visible. Um, it looks like the World Serpent. Slightly, because you're in a boat, you got water and whatever this fucking huge thing is. But it does look a little bit different. We actually ended just after that part last night on stream. So that's kind of cool. Enjoying the steelbook already. Let's put this stuff back in here. Let's get this put to the side. And we have more in here. This comes out. Oh, there's stuff inside it too. Okay. Uh, well, let's put this down for now. There's a smaller package inside this large package. Um, how do I crack into this? Okay, right here. All right. Oh, what is this? All right, it's a box. There's a there's multiple things in here. All right, stuff. More stuff. Okay, does is that come out? Yeah, it looks like it does. So many things. Is there more. There's still more. All right, what is, what the hell? All right, the last time I got a collector's edition that came with something in a black bag, it was a spoiler. You've been warned. I think that's everything? Nope, there's something moving. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, that made, that would have made things easier. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, this is, this is going off the rails significantly. Oh, I can't get it back in there. That's what she said. She? He? Maybe? I don't know. I've been playing too much Sea of Thieves with my friends that are making dumb, immature jokes like that. So I apologize. Okay, so, where do we start? I've already done this. So that's good. Also, I want to take the time to tell you guys I opened my strategy guide today, and it came with a controller skin. So, 
if you're buying a strategy guide for the controller skin, don't do it. This thing's horrible. I hate it. The only reason I put it on there is because these controllers are launch controllers and they look like shit now. So I figure, hey, it looks a little bit better. But yeah, this thing was a pain in the ass to get on. It's not on straight. I didn't enjoy the process. Just a heads up. Um, I'd say let's start. We'll we'll end with this. Obviously, we're going to go to the packaging again afterward. But that'll be the last of the little things that we open. Start with this one. I don't know what all these are. I don't know exactly what all this comes with. I haven't actually looked in a while in terms of everything that this edition comes with. But this is some sort of decal. I don't know if that's a sticker or if it's a like a temporary tattoo. I'd be a little upset if it were a temporary tattoo, though. I think I think it's a sticker. And it's just like a clear sticker with that image on it. Um, this what is this. Oh, it's a oh, it's a sleeve. OK. Oh, it's a lithograph. OK. Ooh. This is like concept art. Ooh, it's got a thing on it on the back. I'll read that in a second. You notice how, I mean, by the time you're seeing this video, unless you saw the stream, there aren't any videos up on the channel. But um, if you look at this side, Atreus has white hair, which either that happens later on in the game or this is just concept art. All right, so finding that first single image that can speak to an entire team about the core vision of a game that only exists in your head can be maddeningly difficult. It can take weeks or even months of writing, talking, arguing, and even pleading to create that perfect picture that will guide hundreds of people through the difficult years of development. Knowing this, I really did expect to struggle a whole lot more than I did to get this first concept piece. I would have to ha I would have to had I not been fortunate enough to work with Jose Cab Cabrera. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, an artist whose talent truly eclipses any word my tiny brain could ever think of to describe it. All it took was a couple of photographs and a Skype call where I rambled incoherently about the vision of the game, and two weeks later I was as if sent down from Valhalla on the wings of the Valkyrie. This incredible image just shows up in my box. In my inbox. It was perfect. I'm not kidding. The first thing he showed me was pretty damn close to the final image you see here. I think this thing I said was, this is what we're going to make. That was quickly followed by, oh crap, how the hell are we going to make this? And that is a note from Corey Barlog, the director of God of War PS4, or God of War 4, which I still don't necessarily like calling it. I was actually kind of thinking about that myself uh, earlier today. If they made a sequel to this game, which they've already said that the next few God of War games are going to be in Norse mythology. So a direct sequel to this, if they called it God of War 2, I'd be perfectly okay with that because I think of this as a new series. Like, this is, like, the the new franchise. So, like, if they made a sequel and called it God of War 2, I'd be okay with that. And then, like I said, I don't know if this is a sticker or what that is, but, yeah, I dropped it. Sorry. But, yeah, oh, that's sideways. There you go. Um... Yeah, nothing else in there. I'm not going to open that because it's just tiny. Now, this is something that really excites me because it actually looks like it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. But this is a cloth map. It feels really soft, but God damn it, I can't get it open. Open, you fuck. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's got some card in there. Now, see, I haven't, I haven't uncovered the whole map, so this is a minor spoiler for me as well because I haven't actually seen the whole thing. Oh, yeah, it's definitely big. Oh, it's very big. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that this is entirely accurate. I and mean, there's definitely bits and pieces that I recognize. Sorry, I'm, I'm ogling over it. Yeah, that, that's that's nice. That is actually really nice. It's a little stiff, which I guess I can expect something to be stiff when it's brand new like this. But... If I could find a frame, I would put this in a frame. Along with the map for Horizon Zero Dawn that I got with the strategy guide for that. Which I'm still very happy I invested in that strategy guide, even though I had platinum the game before the strategy guide even released for that game. I'm still very happy to have that, because it's just a Bible. Like It's literally like a thousand pages 
full detail, like straight up, just everything you could ever want to know about that game is in that strategy guide. And I love that. I kind of wish they'd do that more for strategy guides because it'd be cool to have like, say like the Witcher three could use a uh, strategy guide like that. Cause it's such a huge game. This is going to be the longest unboxing I've ever done because I'm doing two things and this, the second half is already 10 minutes long. So if you're not into super long videos, I apologize, but I have to be meticulous and put things back in their baggies because I don't have anywhere to put this stuff right now. Except for like the actual steel book and the statue, I'm going to find a place to put. But All right, so next is this box. I don't know what's in here. Ugh. Okay. So, tiny little things. That looks like that is Brock, who we met last night. I assume this other one is, an, is his brother. Maybe another character, possibly. I don't know. We haven't met his brother, but he did mention that he had a brother. Focus. Focus. It's actually kind of terrifying. Anyway, I have those two little dudes. Um, I'm going to put these back as well. Because little trinkets like this, I'm afraid to put them on display because I'm afraid I'll lose them. Like, you can see right there, I'm backwards again, right there is the uh, Last Guardian. And you could just barely see that little white dot. That is the tiny little uh, boy on top of his head, uh, on top of Trico's head. I'm still terrified to this day to clean over there because I'm afraid I'm going to knock it under something and never find it again. All right, so horse box. Now, this horse has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs and two tails. I don't know what the hell to expect from this. I haven't even seen this symbol in the game yet, to my knowledge. So, let's see what's in here. This some of these some of these little tiny things are the things that come with the uh, um, stone mason edition. Uh, I should mention that some of these are uh, exclusive to the stone mason edition. The collector's edition, I want to say you don't get as many of these little tiny things. But I don't know what that is. Haven't seen that yet. Just doesn't have anything on the bottom of it. It's got some wrappings around its, like, tusks. Kind of cool. Also, there's a six-legged horse. Horse creature. We did see the one uh, in the stream last night. The, um, I believe uh, Brock wanted to name it Fucking Gratitude. Uh, the, like, horse weird like water horse looking creature that Brock had on the bridge that we had to move. Uh, but other than that, I haven't seen an, either of those two things make an appearance and the game is huge. I feel like I've made more progress than I should have in the time that I've been playing it, but Holy crap. In terms of percentage, we're only like 10% in in four hours. So it's massive. All right. So we still have this. I almost forgot about this by the way. Um, again, You've been warned. This may be a spoiler. I've already seen all this stuff because it's on the side of the box. So if you don't want to see it, you know, go away for like 30 seconds. All right. I shouldn't have opened that all the way. What the hell is this? This has batteries or something. Oh. It's severed head. <laughs> the fuck? It's a speaker. Okay. It's got a pull tab. It's got a little pull tab. I'll do that in a minute. But yeah, this is like a keychain with a severed head. Now, I, I recognize this guy from the trailer. So, uh, this isn't too much. And I, I do know in the trailer he says you have to cut off my head. So, but I'm going to pull this out. We're going to hit this button. Not, I'm going to hit it again. I don't know if he says more than one thing. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. All right, so in case that didn't come through properly, he says, they call me. He says his name, which I can't fucking repeat. I don't know what he said. And he says, the smartest man alive, and I have the answer to your every question. I look forward to meeting and decapitating this person later. Let's put this back. And 
that in there. Okay, so I'm going to worry about putting everything away after. This still has tape on it. And it looks like there's more boxes. What is this? What is life right now, man? This has... What is this? This is nonsense. <laughs> Look at that. There's cardboard. Plastic in between. More cardboard. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Is it that structure? Holy shit. This thing's fucking massive. Okay. All right. I'll 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 give you the cardboard. All right. Okay. Holy Jesus. It's so beautiful. All right. I need my scissors. Where'd my scissors go? I need a cutting utensil, damn it. Here we go. Okay. Stab that. Let's dig into this thing. I don't know where I'm going to put this. I might have to, like, move some shit around. I need to clean. I can tell you that much. My my shelves are starting to get really fucking dirty. So I might have to do, like, a cleaning day after we finish this game and uh, make some room for this shit. Because I bought shelves, but within, like, ten minutes of putting them up, they were full of stuff. So I can't win. And I still have at least... One more collector's edition coming out this year. That being Spider-Man. As of right now, that is the only one that's been announced for later this year. That comes with a statue. So, look forward to that in September. Alright, that's off. Alright. Holy ball sacks, man. This thing is like 17,000 parts. Okay. Oh, gotta love the smell of silicone in the morning. Actually, it's the afternoon here, but... You, don't, you guys don't care. That's not what you're here for. Okay. I need to cut this again because it's taped. Try not to stab Artrius in the face. Alright. Get that off. Okay. There's so many things going on right now. I don't know what to do. Okay. Here we go. Now this doesn't light up or anything to my knowledge. So that'd be a nice surprise. Um, No, no batteries. Who made this? Doesn't say. It just says Sony. Maybe Sony made this themselves. Maybe that's why it's so ridiculous. Holy crap, though. There's a nine inch statue of Kratos and Artrius, and they are in mid murder, as you may be able to tell. I'm all backwards, so I apologize I'm rotating things the wrong way. But look at that face. He looks like he hasn't slept in weeks. Now you have Artrius with his bow. Firing an arrow at point blank range through the skull of an ice demon. The axe with the ice trail. Oh, this is. The detail on this is ridiculous. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but like. Wait a second. Hold on. I have to look. Oh, that would have been a nice touch if they had added it. Because you look at the uh, the angle of the axe swing. And you see how the his hand, the the dude's hand is missing right here. And then the, the axe swing, it looks like he cut his hand off and his head in the same swing. So it would have been cool if the axe had his hand like on the on the blade or something. That would have been a nice touch. But the detail, man, like the rocks and stuff are all cracked on the inside and stuff. And you can see all the little runes and stuff written on stuff. The armor on the dude that Patriots just murdered Kratos' armor and leggings and stuff. It's so ridiculous. He even has, in the stream, again, small spoiler if you haven't seen it, that, um, if I'm not mistaken, that is the bag of uh, Atreus' mother's ashes that they are trying to take to the mountain. Oh my god. I, st I have the other God of War stuff right there. Pandora's Box and the God of War Ascension Collector's Edition as well. Those... Will go nicely with this. I am quite pleased with this. I think that's everything. I could be wrong. There's a bunch of digital stuff that maybe I'll showcase whenever I do stream the game again. Which should be later today. I'm going to eat something before I start streaming. And we probably won't go for too long today. We might do a bunch of side stuff. I don't want to continue the story and get wrapped up in something that I can't stop immediately. Because I do have plans tonight. But. That. 
is the God of War PS4 Pro Bundle. There it is in all of its glory. Unfortunately, I was not able to use the controller to play the game because of the way I record. It doesn't work that way. I don't know something about the newer PS4 controllers just fucks up my recording style. So I wasn't able to use that, but I will be using it to play the game until I get the Platinum after we finish the story. Uh, but that is the PS4 bundle and the Stone Mason edition. This is going to be like a 30-minute unboxing. So I hope you guys enjoy. And there will be more God of War in a couple months. Because I want to say the special edition loot crate doesn't come until June. So look forward to that. I don't know what to expect from that. All I know is that they asked what my hoodie size was when I ordered it. So expect to see a jacket. But other than that... Who knows what's going to be in there? It was like 50 bucks, so should be good. But that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this massive, like, just pile of God of War content. And videos will come out as well for the people who missed the streams. And we will be streaming pretty frequently all over the weekend to get this stuff done. But I will see you guys then. I love you all. Thank you all for watching. Ta-ta. So, I found more. <laughs> I, I was in the process of putting this up, and I found this. I don't know what it is. I don't, again, like I said, I don't remember what all this comes with. But now I, I need to check the other one. No, there's nothing on the other piece of cardboard. But I need to get to this, which I'm going to have to cut again. Fucking, I feel like a surgeon today. All right, let's get this off. I don't want to tear the cardboard because I'm weird like that. Come on. Come on now. There we go. Okay. Tape. Removed and off my hand now. Okay. This is an actual box, though. This looks similar to the uh, the ring that came with the Dishonored 2 uh, special edition. Like, you can see it's an actual, like, box. And it's got the same symbol on it and everything. I... There's so much stuff! Um, Get this open whoa I didn't know this was is this even on the box yeah it is okay stone mason ring okay yeah it's definitely there I didn't holy crap it's huge then again Kratos' hands in this game are fucking massive so I guess that makes sense but yeah this feels like it's actually made of metal even though it doesn't look like it it's heavy got some weight to it that is a nice little uh thing i wasn't expecting but yeah uh i think at this point and again i'll be back if it wasn't that's everything i'm pretty sure we're done with this unboxing but we'll find out okay until then ta-ta